So during the Second World War, one of the great dramatic uh, moments of our history, unprecedented uh, works of art were being destroyed, monuments and pieces of art were also being plundered and, 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 and being raided by the Nazis. And at that time, a whole unprecedented also group of people, the monuments men, art historians and, uh, or people in the humanities, enlisted and joined the armed forces to save and protect these works of art, which they knew that was the cultural heritage of the world. It, be, it really was about saving those precious things that made life worthwhile. And so they're embarked and on the first moments they were indicating and helping the military not to bombard a cathedral that was a land, uh, incredible, protecting on the ground monuments like the Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci that was bombed all around and because it was protected it is safe for posterity or also protecting the, from the bombs the David in Florence. So many, many of the works of art that we still recognize today as the greatest were either about to be damaged, damaged, changed hands or were then plundered like the one that we have just behind. It belonged to a, the Rothschild family in Vienna. It was taken by the Nazis. It was taken to one of the hiding places where they stocked in piles and piles of art that they were stealing from families all over Europe. It was a salt mine that was completely rigged and protected by bombs. And after the war, these heroes, these art historians, I mean, people that are not trained to be in the, in the combat zones and everything, all of a sudden raising above what they themselves, I'm sure, thought of capable when they were studying in, in Harvard or, or, or Yale or their, uh, with their art history teachers, they went beyond the call of duty and saved this and then repatriated many of this. So over five million works of art were hiding, were stolen, and these men deliberately and very, very disciplined brought all of this back to their legitimate owners for the most part. I mean, there's still works that are lost and there's things that are still coming up. But this particular piece of art, the L'Archillière, which represents the uh, uh, King of Poland in, in his full regalia and glory, was given back to the Rothschilds, which in turn, at uh, the turn of the 50, 1950, sold it to a dealer in New York. And then, when this work of art was in a gallery in New York, one of our curators, Patrick Kelhar, who was our first curator of European art, and who had been one of these men rescuing art from the, from the mines, bought it for the Nelson Atkins.